Well, hi there, Jim. It's Eli. And I'm just going to walk you through the NetSquared blogging account when you're actually logged in as an administrator. So you'll see a lot more options than other people would. So naturally, you've got a title. No problem. Then you'll see there's this whole vocabulary section, which is all about the NetSquared programs. All of these were imaginary. None of them actually exist. You can pick whichever ones you want depending on what title makes you happiest that day, or you can completely ignore it. Topics again is something you've dealt with, which is you can add your own keywords or pick from the taxonomy we've already indicated here. And then of course there's the body. You know how to throw stuff in here, no problem. The only thing that you wanted to go over is a little bit around images. So you click here to go into the image editing mode. And then if you already have an image somewhere else, like a something.jpg, you can just drop the URL here. But like most of us, you probably don't. So you want to upload something. So you go to Browse Server. It'll open up a brand new window, eventually, in time. And then you'll just want to go and select the Pictures folder. So once you click that, then you just go and you go click upload here on the top menu bar. And then you select your file. In this case, I will select a nice NetSquare logo. And you can either create thumbnails or you can just ignore this. I think you'll be just fine if you ignore it. I click upload. And the image is now hosted on the server. Fabulous means you can now close that and you've got the image. So you just want to go and say insert that file and you'll see there's a preview here. So you can enter in the alternative text i.e. net squared logo and that's you know obviously the people for screen readers or the blind this is or Google searches that alternative text can be useful if it's nice and descriptive. And then you said you want to resize it. The way to do that is to go and use the width and height measurements here. So you can go here and say like, oh, I want it to be, say, 250 pixels wide. And you'll see here in the preview, it'll shrink that, and it will shrink it proportionally between height and width here. If you want to stretch out your image for some crazy reason, you can always click the lock here, and then you can start stretching out your image. But I typically just change my width, and off we go. Another good tip is to make sure that if any text wrapping around your image doesn't actually butt up against the image is to give yourself a little bit of horizontal and vertical space. So I typically just put in three pixels on each and now you've got a bit of breathing room around your image. The last thing of course is if you want to wrap your text around your image you can do an alignment of either left or right and you can see from the preview it'll show you exactly what's happening over here with your good old lorem ipsums. Once you're done with that and you're happy click OK and you're off to the races. As you continue through you'll see there's a whole bunch of stuff flags no idea so I choose to ignore that and then there's authoring information again you can just leave that as the default and then publishing options and you'll want to leave the two default which is both published and promoted to the front page. You have the all happy and you're ready to go click Save Everything should make you happy from there. Have fun and hopefully that was helpful.